Hey everybody, it's Oklahoma Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell coming to you with another episode of our Oklahoma Career Tech uh, look at Oklahoma Career Tech system. Uh, and we have a great episode, a uh, great interview here for you today. Um, uh, today I'm joined by Christina Perez, uh, a computer repair and programming student at Canadian Valley Technology Center. Uh, Christina, thank you for, for joining us today. It's a pleasure, Mr. Pinnell. Yeah, thanks for being here. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Um, so I am from Yukon, but I'm an attending student at Canadian Valley Technology Center. Um, I'm, I'm only a part-time student, so I'm right now a senior doing at Epic Charter School, but I do part-time in the afternoon at Canadian Valley. Oh, that's great. Okay, and, and Canadian Valley is in, is in what city? Uh, Canadian Valley is, is, it is in El Reno, but it's a good medium between Mustang, Yukon, Piedmont, um, and uh, Oklahoma City. So it's kind of in between all those schools. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, Canadian Valley, it's a, it's a great location to pull in a whole lot of folks from, um, uh, from around the state too, right there outside of the Oklahoma City area. So why did you decide to attend Canadian Valley Tech. It was always promoted to me as a kid. So the first time I can remember it was probably in sixth grade. In my careers class, we had uh, one of the counselors from um, Canadian Valley come and visit us and talk about it. And I think ever since they came and talked about it, I knew that I wanted to go there for computer programming. And it was kind of one of those interests that I've always had. I've kind of just always liked tinkering with computers and making programs on it and just exploring the capabilities of what an AI or a computer can do. And especially learning that you can get certifications in the class that really made me want to do uh, this specific program at Career Tech. So you first learned about uh, Canadian Valley again, was you said middle school is kind of when you first learned about it? Yes, uh, sixth grade and middle school. Okay. And did your sixth, it was your sixth grade class. I mean, your, your middle school that you were attending talk to you about uh, the Canadian Valley? Yes. So our school requires one semester of um, careers, which is just where we learn what careers we want to go into. And at the end of the semester, they came in for a few classes to talk about it and kind of tell us the options that we had going there. And that it was free until I believe 24 and that there's so many different programs that we can choose from. That's great. What middle school was that, if I may ask? Uh, it was UConn Middle School. Okay. Well, good, good, good for UConn Middle School to be again that dedicated to. Um, again, that's that's a connection point that we're trying to make sure middle schools are talking about. Again, if you have an interest, that interest may be able to be filled down at uh, down at your local career tech center. Yeah, it was a really exciting to learn about it. And yeah. I couldn't wait four years uh, to get into it, but it was well worth the wait. That's awesome. Um, and so I know you're involved in a lot of extracurricular activities as well. You want to uh, speak to us some of those? Yeah. So um, when I first came to Canadian Valley, um, I didn't know much about uh, the different CTSO um, clubs that it offers. But whenever I got into my class, they told me that we had we were automatically a part of BPA, which is Business Professionals of America, which is just a technology club that has different events in which you can compete in. And since we were automatically already members of it, since it's a program, it's a technology class, then um, I ran to be president, but I, I got vice president. But because um, I'm the role of vice, we got to do a lot of different things. So one of the things that um, I led was a food drive for, it was a food drive for thanks, um, for Thanksgiving. And then another thing that we did was a toy drive. So I think being involved in BPA uh, gave me a lot of opportunities to take, to work with other people and learn how to communicate better. There's also Skills USA. Yeah, um, it's great. I, I, I love going to some of those competitions uh, around the state uh, with uh, the computer, you know, the uh, robotics uh, skills challenges and things like that. Yeah, it's it's very fun, um, and especially since um, 
Canadian Valley or just um, the technology schools in general will pay for you, uh, pay for the membership and also compensate for um, the different, like whatever you need for the specific um, thing that you're going in for. So it's very, um, it's, it's great to have such privilege that career tech will do that for their students and to allow those opportunities. It's a really, it, it's a really good point. I'm glad you brought up uh, kind of some of these extracurricular activities that the career tech also provides from a networking perspective. Uh, again, Skills USA is a great uh, something certainly for those watching this. You should be googling uh, and checking out as well. So I'm really glad you mentioned it. It's not just about a class that you're taking at Career Tech, it also could be all the other things, all the other classes, all the other extracurricular act activities that you can get involved with at Career Tech as well. Mm -hmm. It has lots of opportunities for that. And it's not just one class, you can compete in. You can be a part of multiple clubs too. And yeah. something else that um, something else that my uh, Canadian Valley has is uh, the ambassador team, which is something that I was active in, which I still am. This is my second year um, at Canadian Valley, and it's my second year being an ambassador, where basically um, you, you're an ambassador for your school, and you go around to different schools representing that school, and you get to talk to high schoolers, sometimes middle schoolers, but we went to Mustang, Piedmont, El Reno, Bethany, and Yukon, all the different high schools to talk about um, Canadian Valley and why it's such a great opportunity to attend the school. Well, that's great. What made you choose computer repair and programming? Um, um, like I said before, it's always been one of my passions as I was a kid, and I think it what really solidified my choice was that in eighth grade, whenever I was at the middle school, I had a, I had a robotics teacher that she was my mentor and I had a year long class with her. And she, I was a part of a, a technology club back then called TSA, which is just Technology Student Association. And I would compete in there for robotics and programming. And whenever I went to the competitions, it was kind of it was very much a male dominated, um, I mean, it wasn't careers, but it was still a very male dominated. I could tell that I was one of the only females that would compete in the competitions. And I didn't know that, then I was naive that there was a divide between what is, what it might seem versus reality. But going to those competitions, she really, she really encouraged me to do my best and to just be myself and follow my passion and push me to do career tech or to just do what I think would be good for my future, which um, I already knew back then that I wanted to do career tech, but yeah. she taught me a lot of just how to be my own person and how just overall what to do whenever I want something, which is obviously to not let other people um, challenge my, challenge what I want to do. Yeah, um, but, we, all, we all need teachers in, in that way. What was her name? What was that teacher's uh, name? It was Miss Fryman. Yeah, Miss Fryman. Well done, Miss Fryman. Wait, so tell, tell us, what are the classes like? You know, for those that might be watching this, what, what, what you know, what, what are those classes like? Um, so I can't speak for all the classes, but my class specifically, um, it's very, um, it has hands-on learning. So what my program does versus um, a lot of other schools might do is where instead of giving assignments and then we just do it, my teacher, Mr. Damani, he, he has, um, he believes in teaching students how to teach themselves. So he does guide us in what directions, like what to learn for our languages and for our certifications. But he's very much trying to teach us how to problem solve for ourselves and not to rely so much on other people to do things for us. So he'll guide us in the right direction and then he'll teach us how to teach ourselves um, how to do things. So. It's a very independent class and he's a very great mentor because not only does he just teach um, 
programming, but he also goes out of his way to teach us other things about computers other than just the bare minimum. That's great. And it's, it's really helped. I think, especially since he prepares us for careers that we could possibly have in the future doing our certifications and our jobs, um, it's a really great opportunity to prepare ourselves for the future. How long does the, uh, the program take to complete? Um, so I'm a part-time student. If you are going part-time, then it will take two years to complete the course, depending if you're going to be an AM or PM student. But if you're going to go full-time, then it just takes um, a whole year in which you will do both AM and PM for two semesters. Okay. And, and so what kind of uh, careers do graduates uh, in this program go into? Um, so for computer programming and repair, you can, you can join the class for all different kinds of reasons. I obviously, uh, did mine because I was interested in just programming and creating softwares, but because computer programming in the future is becoming more demanding for careers, there's all different types of things that you can go into. So you can go into web development, um, database management, and user interface designer, and just all kinds of different jobs. And for the certifications that we do get, it allows us to get a job right out of graduating or just a level entry job in programming, depending if you're a full stack developer or just um, specific or if you're just going to like a very specific type of programming or computer repair. So what are your future goals then after you graduate from this program? Um, so after I graduate, I'm going, to, I actually, um, I've enrolled to go to South Southwestern, which is just uh, Swasu, it's yep. in Weatherford. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go there right now, I'm going for my general, but I'm planning to go for um, a bachelor's in computer programming, specializing in MIS, which is man management information systems. But also depending on what I learned there in my first two years, I might change majors. So right now I'm just taking like the, the basics of compute classes to get a feel for what I am sure that I wanna do in the future. That's great. So, you know, we always ask this question uh, of, of everyone we're interviewing. What, what would you say to someone that is looking at enrolling in Oklahoma Career Tech program? My advice would be to just look into each program and see, because Career Tech itself is a very good opportunity. They provide great education for the students and they're, the faculty I've learned is very welcoming and respectful. And they're probably... Um, some of the best teachers and counselors I've had um, wow. for a while. And um, I mean, career tech itself is very good, but if you're looking to go into it, um, I would definitely try to just look into the programs and which one might be the best one for you, because regardless, career tech is going to be probably a really good choice if you do choose it. I, I completely agree. Uh, Christina, thank you so much. Uh, really impressive what you've been doing. Uh, I know they will uh, welcome you in Weatherford at, uh, at uh, Southwestern, great university. Uh, thank you for being such a great ambassador for our Oklahoma Career Tech uh, system. Uh, the skills, again, that you're learning, uh, being able to go on to, again, whether you want to go to a four-year university or whether you want to go straight into the workforce, the skills that you're learning, uh, you're going to be able to take right into a job and really truly be career ready. So. Uh, thank you for being such a great ambassador. Wish you the, uh, the best of luck and certainly glad that you are staying right here in the state of Oklahoma uh, to get that education. We hope you can find a job right here in the state as well.